waited three decades, over 30 years, for a Top Gun sequel, and finally it's here. Now, the other week, of course, I totted along to San Diego for the world premiere, and what a gift it was to get Tom Cruise on the red carpet and share him with you all. It was a career highlight. I also sat down with the rest of the cast, and I find out exactly what it's like working on one of the biggest movies of the year. Alors que Tom Cruise fait son arrivée. The movie star power of Tom Cruise. Look, it never gets lost in translation. His red carpet arrival at the Cannes Film Festival, complete with a spectacular French fighter jet flyover, a tour de force in anyone's language. So yes, Top Gun is back, and it's taking over the world. You were here at the request of Admiral Kazansky, AKA Iceman. He seems to think that you have something left to offer the Navy. What that is, I can't imagine. Along for the ride, Miles Teller, call sign Rooster, and the one, the only John Hamm, call sign Cyclone. It was very simple to say yes to this. And part of it was just that I was like, wait, my call sign is Cyclone? That's super cool. Okay, I'm in. Um, you know, if it was Ding Dong or like Kickstand or something dumb, then I would have been like, oh, geez, okay, do I have to? But uh, I got to be one of the cool kids with the cool names, which was very cool. It is the perfect balance of nostalgic, uh, remembrance of the first one and paying homage to the first one and then also continuing the story of this character who is 30 years older who has different priorities in his life and yet is still Maverick. You look like you were having a hell of a lot of fun but I suspect there was a metric ton of work that went into this and I need to hear about this aviation training that Tom put you through because it sounded mental. It was, it was. It takes, I mean it takes a lot to be able to uh, get in an F-18 and fly around with the best pilots in the world and kind of still be able to keep your wits about you. As soon as we would take off in the jet, we were controlling the camera. There were some things that, you know, would go on that I'm sure that not everybody would want to be shared. No, look, yeah. I, I get that sense. But you know what I'm saying. I, I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. I was um, lucky to chat to Danny when he was down in New Zealand um, <laughs> shooting another film. And he was like, oh, you yeah. know, a little stomach churning, perhaps. Yeah. But he messed up because if, if that's going to happen, you got to cut the camera first. He never, he forgot to cut the camera, so we all watched Oh, it. right, rookie mistake. Yeah, yeah. rookie mistake. Tom came down to New Zealand to shoot some of Mission and um, he basically got them to teach him how to crash dive a helicopter. I remember hearing that story. Uh, that is something that I would rather a stunt person do. <laughs> what drives him to do it? What do you see in him that? Um, you know, apart, I think it really is. It's, it's, it's a devotion to this craft. It's a devotion to what he ha does at the highest level and has done for 40 some odd years. There's very few people left like that. There's very few people that get their name above the title. Um, and he's, he's one of them. He genuinely loves his job. He's obviously very, very good at it. And it was a thrill of a lifetime and a career to be able to share the screen with him. I wish he would be a little more careful sometimes. <laughs> Uh, when we were shooting the first the first couple of months we were shooting the film, he still had a broken ankle from from the last mission when he when he jumped and and I was like, you know, the broken ankle was probably the best way that that could have gone wrong. <laughs> you jumped from a building to another building. That could have gone really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Top Gun Maverick, the movie looks good. I just, I love seeing you, Kate Rogers, sitting there <laughs> flirting with the biggest yeah. stars. <laughs> you know, yeah, man. calling them Tom. Oh, you know? outraged at that. <laughs> I mean, friends. you were getting it back too. Why did he have his leg up like this? Well, that's just comfortable. I loved it. I it's loved every part of it. Look, the film is outstanding. Um, the film uh, critic from New Sub, she's a great lady, and she <laughs> gave it five stars. And it's absolutely worth every single one of those. And I saw it for the third, <coughs> saw it for the third, third time. time last night at the New Zealand premiere. And to give you an idea of the different audiences this film's going to connect to on the big screen where it was made for, is my lovely dad came along, Ian, uh, and he's my personal top. Oh, there he um, is. And he's uh, and he he turned around and said that. That was absolutely jolly good. Oh. Absolutely jolly good. Yeah. So that's great. Dad's wow. review. Great review. Well, I've got what a yours? jolly good from <laughs> Ian Roger. That's pretty awesome. Like and you can time. see Top Gun Maverick in cinemas from this Thursday. And tickets are on sale now. I'm certainly going to get along. It looks epic. And if you want a double pass to the film, we have 10 Top Gun prize packs to give away. Go to our Facebook page.